everybody, and welcome to an update video. I know I don't do these too often, but I thought this one's kind of needing it because it's it's sort of a big change and you'll you'll understand why. You've probably already seen the title and the thumbnail. The title gives it away, really. But for the past month and a half, uh, me and Winnie, we've moved to Japan. So that's probably why some of you eagle-eyed viewers, of course, have probably noticed that the background has completely changed. Which leads to the question, why? Why Japan? Why, why are you buggered off? For the longest time, I've thought to myself, or I've, I think everybody who's you know, a YouTube creator, they could work anywhere they wanted to, as long as they had internet connection. That's that's it, right? That's what it's always been. Oh, you could work anywhere, as long as it's got internet connection. That's the conversations I've had after this pandemic that's happened. And, you know, I'm, oh, I'm 30 now. Uh, with the grave quickly approaching, um, I thought to myself, you know, why don't I do this? Go and live abroad somewhere. And because of our most recent trips to Japan, I thought that that would be an excellent like place to go. Um, and me and Whitney, we've been to Japan twice before. We went to Japan in 2019 for summer. And we also stayed in Japan over Christmas and New Year of 2019, 2020. So we technically had a holiday in 2020 just before everything went to hell. However, Japan has sort of had their borders closed since 2020, since the pandemic started. So I thought that that was like going to be kind of impossible or, you know, I'd have to kind of wait until you know, everything opened up. But on YouTube, I'd been suggested loads of people, uh, some of the YouTubers that have been like making content in Japan. And I thought to myself, they, they've moved over there, right? Like how have they managed to do it? Two months ago, they've actually allowed business visas to come in. And that's how I've managed to get in here. And that's through the amazing people. Hold on, we need sound effects for this. The amazing people at Geeks Plus. Geeks Plus are a company that help facilitate a lot of things in Japan. So if you're a content creator um, and you want like help with accommodation or uh, interviews with uh, you know, having translators and stuff like that, they're able to help you there. And that's exactly who I've used to come over here. And they've been such a help. I wouldn't have done it without them. Honestly, I wouldn't have. I cannot thank them enough for that because that has been invaluable. I think without their help, uh, I wouldn't have bothered because it would have just been like too much work, like way too much work. The bureaucracy is crazy. Uh, we're only going to be staying here for a year. At least that's the initial plan. We can extend it if we wanted to. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that, you know, we, we're wanting to do within the next couple of years. Um, and I don't know if we can really do them in Japan. I've got amazing family and I've got amazing friends and I really don't want to see them like once a year, uh, unfortunately. This, uh, don't get me wrong, Japan's amazing. We've been to some great places and I'm loving my time here so far. And it's only been a month and a half. I'm sure it'll fly by, but I'm really enjoying it. Also, Max isn't here, the little raccoon dog. Uh, so Whitney's taking that very hard. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> so Geeks Plus works with a lot of YouTube content creators that you probably, some of them you've heard of. Uh, so I don't know whether I'm gonna be collaborating with them. I've, I've met some of them um, and I'd like to meet, you know, more of them as time goes on. I don't know if I'll be collaborating with them per se because I'd like to, but it really it's up to them. If they want to be a dinosaur man on their channel, you tell me. So with that all out of the way, what's the difference? Like why am I here? What's the point <laughs> in general? There's a lot of stuff that's like uniquely Japanese and even dinosaur Japanese uh, related that I want to cover while I'm over here. Um, as well as some other things that have been brought to my attention uh, by Geeks Plus who have offered me opportunities. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll do that. It's also the first time in my whole YouTube career since 2014 when I really started you know, trying uh, at YouTube that we, I haven't had a Jurassic World movie coming out. So this is a completely new sort of realm I'm in. Uh, whereas every, you know, after every Jurassic World movie, it was what's going to be the next one. What's going to be the new hybrid, the filming stuff, the toys and everything. And now after Dominion's come out, it's sort of in this, we're in this nebulous uh, void of, we don't, of not knowing. And because of that, I thought what better opportunity than now to, you know, go and try something different. And that's why I'm in Japan. Uh, I've always enjoyed doing uh, in-person things. So if you don't know, you might have seen the Sonic statue video. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's probably up there. I don't know. It's it's flying up there. Have a look at that. Uh, I really enjoyed that. And that whole trip was basically uh, because I, I saw one uh, video on YouTube about the Sonic statue in the forests of Japan. And I thought, you know what? Let's go. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be trying to incorporate stuff like that. Uh, into the channel as well as keeping all the basic stuff because I'm hoping that this whole time you haven't even noticed that I've moved but I wanted to try and just make it as seamless as possible so if people didn't know they'd be like 
Wait, you moved to Japan? <laughs> and I'm, hopefully there's a lot of people like, what? I saw that thumbnail and didn't even notice. I've, I've posted some things here and there on Instagram. I've also vlogged a few things because we've been to Kyoto. Uh, and there's, I mean, just everything in Japan is pretty. The plastic food they put in front of the restaurants and everything. Streets, it's clean. It's, oh, it's just gorgeous. So I uh, probably um, every now and again, there might be vlogs and stuff when we travel to certain areas as well as like the production stuff, like the mystery of the Sonic statue that I'm, I'm hoping to work on, as well as just generally keeping up with my regular content. Because on the flight over to Japan, I was working on the Jurassic slime eggs. Obviously, I haven't brought everything. I brought some of the cameras and equipment that I need, but a lot of stuff I'm gonna end up having to buy here. For one, an AC unit, because it is bloody hot here, as well as it actually being really hot in the UK at the time of recording this. But at least in Japan, we actually have AC units, in the UK, you don't, so you just die. <laughs> and before we get on to the, you know, the best part of the video, the one you want to see the apartment tour, I want to actually talk about Jurassic Month. Because a lot of people who are familiar with my channel will know before the launch of a Jurassic World movie, at least the month before, we do a Jurassic Month. And the first one, I played through loads of games. It was like three or four videos a day. That was back in 2015. And then 18, 2018, we kind of moved on to other games or some things I hadn't finished as well as some classics. And I was hoping for 2022, you know, Dominion, to do another Jurassic Month. Uh, but this whole thing was happening. Like, I didn't want to just put this off even longer because uh, I didn't know when the borders were going to close and if I could even get in. So as soon as the borders opened, it was like, go, go, go. It has just been this whole situation of will I, won't I, you know, how long can we put this off for? Because moving to Japan now, we first started this process about a year ago. Uh, it's taken this long in preparation as well as waiting for the borders to open. But yes, back to Jurassic Month. Um, because of this whole move to Japan, I couldn't really do it. I did have an animation commissioned, which I'll probably put a little bit here, just to prove to you that I, I was thinking about it. <laughs> um, but between getting content ready for my transition to move over, so while I'm here and setting up, content is up on the channel, I just didn't have time to record the stuff I wanted to with Jurassic Month. I wanted to go somewhere different with it. I didn't want to just do video games and I did have the stuff ready for it, but then this happened. So you'll probably see that content eventually come to the channel, but it won't be in a Jurassic Month format. Or at least maybe, well, we can save that animation for when Jurassic Month comes around again, when the, maybe a, a hidden movie will come out or a Netflix thing, who knows? And with that out of the way, should we just crack on with the apartment tour? Come on, let's, let's go. Owie, how are you doing? Welcome to the apartment. If you look down, this is like a very Japanese thing. You've got like, as soon as you enter, you've got this bit where you're supposed to put your shoes, but that's it. Then once you come here, you take your shoesies off. But wait, where to put your shoes then? If this is gonna clog all this up? Well, you put them in here, and turn the light on. So originally there was like that, and that, and then this one but that's like way too many shelves. So I put a chair in here instead and we've used that way more than we would have ever used the shelves. Bye shoes. <coughs> Next one is the toilet, which is like right here. Are you ready? Are you excited? Or I don't, I don't think you are ready. Is a toilet, as all things are in Japan. If it's a toilet, it's made by Toto. I don't think anything else or any, any other company makes toilets. Uh, not really much to say about this. I mean, there's like a really tiny sink and that's it. Also, I, I shouldn't really be allowed in here, so I'll, uh, I'll get out, we'll stop that. We'll go this way, down this little corridor, and here you've got the, the best thing in this entire apartment, which is this Studio Ghibli, like onsen towel thing, like divider. I've always been one for like merchandise that looks like it could be in the movie. Uh, the only thing that's a bit like annoying about it is they have Studio Ghibli in, in big letters. Really? Really, we're gonna do this? We're just gonna put Studio Ghibli like right there when it looks so good? Yes. So through to the bathroom. Well, actually, this is like the powder room. It looks like a normal sink, right? You think it looks like a normal sink, but wait. I mean, I don't know why you'd want that. I mean, I get it in the kitchen, but like here? Then you've got behind here, you've got like space. And up at the top is my favorite thing. It's mosquito spray. I was offered this one, or like a regular one, and of course I'm gonna choose this one. This one looks way nicer. A washing machine. So when we came here, we didn't want to buy like loads of furniture, so we ended up renting a bunch of stuff. And would you believe you can rent a washing machine? So this isn't ours, this is a rented washing machine. Uh, most Japanese apartments have like a space underneath uh, where a washing machine goes, and you basically just 
plug it in there and then you've got like the water and stuff there and it's all done. Would you hang things up is the question. I'll show you. I'll give you an answer and it's in here. This is the washroom. And if you can see in this little panel, uh, you can do, make it do loads of different things. You can have it like uh, extract, so it'll take all the moisture out. You can have it put hot air in, cold air in, all that jazz. I'll have it stop that actually, so we'll just uh, <laughs> So in here, da, 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 is like what every modern looking Japanese bathroom looks like. I'm pretty sure you've got this like area where you can sit sort of if you had a stool. So there's actually a tap underneath. So you can have it like go to the shower or the tap. And then you have your, your full length mirror you know, if you just want to look at yourself and go, hey. Yes, I do wash myself with new shampoo. That's how I look so gorgeous. God. And then here's the bath, which I have still yet to take an actual bath in. Uh, but if you're really nice, the lady talks Japanese to you. Is she going to speak nice to me? There you go. And this is actually how you fill up the... Yes, I know. So what you can do every day is you can set it so that it will fill the bathtub from this. That's where the water comes in. And then this is basically the plug. So you push that and push that and then it would all, you know, go out. And then you've also got this thing. And what you do is you put that over the top of the bath. And that's supposed to stop the heat from leaving it. So maybe you're a bit busy, you can put that on top and then come back to the bath in an hour. And maybe it'll like keep its heat or something. I don't know. And then this is where you've got the max. So you can actually move it from there to there just to add more space to when you hang up your clothes. Uh, also, Best not to do that in the dead of night, because I've done it in the dead of night, and like I've dropped it, and it's made one hell of a noise. <laughs> but it's quite nice, it's really swanky, it looks really like clean and modern, and this thing. But it's just like, ugh, everything's so automated. And then you have the stinky drain. You must never go there. And then, you can lock them in. So that is the bathroom. And we'll go through the extremely expensive Studio Ghibli things that were actually outside my office, but now aren't. And then here, in this hallway, along to the living room, <laughs> hi, uh, you've got loads more storage space. So we want a little bit more. Oh, that's where we put the uh, the Dyson, <laughs> the Dyson box. Uh, and you've got more here, bags. It's quite a small space, really, and if I compare it to like where I live in the UK, it's very small. But they've used every square inch of it. And uh, enter the living room. Well, the lighting doesn't make me look sickly. And over here, you've got like your entrance thing. So if somebody buzzes downstairs, you'll see them on the screen there. Uh, this, I think, is how to control the bath. But this one doesn't sound as friendly as the one in the toilet. So if I was to click like something... Purge the enemy! <laughs> oh no, uh, we'll, we'll stop that. No, <laughs> you've got exactly how much it's going to fill it up. So 200 liters, I think to a certain temperature of 40 degrees. And now, if we go into the bathroom, yeah, there you go, water. But let's say somebody's in the bath, right? And you don't want to disturb them. You don't like walk in on them. Winnie, I'm gonna click this. Hello? Is the, is the, is the bath still running? It's dripping? Well, that's no good. Yeah, yeah, enjoy the bath, Whitney. Okay, bye. So welcome to the living room. This is where we spend most of our time. Let me point out what's rented. Pretty much everything you see is rented. Curtains aren't. Uh, we bought those. Uh, fan, of course, I, we bought. All the other little knickknacks that you can see around, we bought as well. This huge table is actually here to start with and it made the place feel really claustrophobic. So we shoved that all the way to the side. This is a unit as well that we've, it was against that wall. We shoved that to the side, so everything's in there. We highly underestimated the space. Um, and this table is absolutely massive. <laughs> so I think if we had the choice, uh, we'd probably get rid of the table. But the thing is, it's in the contract with everything else. So we, even if we get rid of it and they, have it, they take it back, we still have to pay for it. So this is basically where we put all our stuff. We've got uh, all information, that's why I'm, I'm backing away from it so you can't see anything that's private. Uh, and also, up here, I have the amazing spy family uh, things that you can actually get from gachapons. They're like, they are gachapons, but instead of like a capsule coming out, it's, it's literally just a print, and they look really cool. When I was coming to Japan, I, was, I said to myself that I wasn't going to uh, get loads of like little things because I see that all the time. I see all these apartments. They've all got like these little things. It looks really busy. And at home, back in the UK, I'd sort of got rid of a lot of stuff and I was quite liking 
everything sort of being tidy. Living in Japan, it's uh, ready for me to look sickly again because of the yellow light. Let's go into. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? So this one it actually makes sense because it has one of those like extendable little hose things. Kettle, tea bags, it's what you need. Actually, if you're looking for actual like English tea, that's it. Yeah, another thing when it comes to uh, Japan that's a bit hard to get your head around at first, bin system. So this is a bin for like plastic wrap, cardboard and stuff like that. You got one for pet bottles, and then this is like general waste as well. Maybe you're not feeling particularly adventurous, right? So you might just want to open open the door regularly, uh-huh. But you know those days when you're feeling lucky, how about you just go the other side? You can open the door from the other side. Fridge! What do we have before it starts bleeping at me? You've got this, which actually recently came out, which is the Pepsi Zero, but it's supposed to pair perfectly with fried chicken. Uh, I have this, this is like a Vegeta's like cooling mask. Uh, you've got, oh, what do we have here? We've got Gyu Nyu. This is from like Good Morning Call. And when we came in 2019, uh, I think it just came out. This, oh my God, this is the best drink in the world. They only serve it, I think, or in vending machines. You can only get it in summer. And it's basically like an ice cream in a drink. We've got this which is supposed to be really bad, but I've never actually had it before. Picari sweat. Hi. Right, Picari sweat. Never had this before. This will be interesting. I've been putting it off for a long time because I kind of wanted to do it in a video. Let's try it, shall we? That's actually not so bad. It's like ramen -y. I was expecting like salt water or something from what everyone was saying, but uh, no. This is where it gets interesting. So this is all inbuilt into this sort of cooker. You pull this out. God, it makes a noise. Uh, this is the fish grill. So that's where you would put in like a salmon or something and it's like a really tiny oven basically. And then over in the cabinet you've got lots of things. You've got peanut butter from a place called Oyoi. So it's like well mint leaf. If you're really Japanese, you eat anime. Oh yeah, and then I actually forgot to mention about this. This is like one of those garbage disposals. You know, the ones like Americans have where you put your hands in and it like kills you in all those movies. Yeah, like that's that's scary. In the UK, you don't have that for, for logical reasons, but we have it in Japan, so there we go. And every time you come in the kitchen, you must pay your respects to the guardian of the kitchen. He's nameless because he is above names. Oh yeah, this is quite cool. This also is done. So you've got like a little rack. What, what, what do you call it? Kitchen roll, that's the one, kitchen roll. And then you've got this holster, like tissues. So you don't even have to open this. You could just all get it from underneath. So you can just put a hand in and get a tissue. It's pretty cool. Are you ready to step into the Game & Beaver studio? So welcome to the Game & Beaver studio. You'll notice that actually my voice should sound better. Maybe this microphone's, oh, the microphone's pointing funny. Maybe, oh dear. There we go. Maybe the microphone's pointing funny this whole time, but hey. Now it should sound okay. So in here, I've added like a lot of like soundproofing. Oh, it's not really soundproofing. Basically this, you've got the door there. See, you wouldn't think that's a door, but there's the handle. Woo, I'm so good. So it's got indentations in here. So you could put cables running around if you needed to. Uh, to be fair, I kind of stole this from Connor. I saw his video and I was like, I need that stuff. It looks so good, but it's not particularly soundproofed. It sounds nice on the reverb on the voice, because you can hear there's like no echo now, but it doesn't really do anything to stop the sound from getting through. Because I think what he had done is put like some stuff underneath it. So this stops the reverb, so your voice sounds quite nice. Well, okay, so this is the three layers of madness. This was the first layer, the same that you can see up there. It was some not really expensive, I don't even know what you would call it. It's just like really condensed air panels. And this is all stuck up. They've all been command stripped. I'm doing the best I can with, with you know, the little space I've got. We've got a table here for unboxings and I'm still working on a laptop, haven't sourced a computer because I was kind of waiting for parts and then it's just taking so long. Like someone was like, oh yeah, we'll kind of give you parts and then they just never did. So I was kind of waiting and now I've got sick of waiting. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna get a computer. And this, this is the throne plastic chair and I've had to take a cushion from the sofa just so it's actually comfortable. So you got like the cam link and that goes into uh, the computer here. So that's the face cam, uh, iPad as well. You've got the Go XLR. You've got like the, the classic Shure microphone. Uh, you've also, I mean, all this, everything here, I took with me on a plane. Like I had a couple of bags and it was packed, absolutely jam packed. I would have brought more, but I just couldn't obviously. Elgato key lights, I think these are. And then this, 
over here is basically loads of stuff for videos. Uh, that's actually already being recorded, this thing. That, that is awesome. Oh my god, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. This was won in a crane game. Uh, this was also won in a crane game. And I think this was part of the Wit Studios exhibition, I think it was. It's so cute. Uh, Toast made it over. <gasps> Mystery plushie that has been hiding around. You can't see that one. As well as loads of like Tomy stuff. You've got like Dominion things there as well. Can't wait to unbox those. The godsend that's under here. Not that you can really see it. There it is. This. This is an AC unit, a portable AC unit. When I go back to the UK, I'm taking this with me because we are not prepared for summer in the UK and this will save lives. <laughs> It'll definitely save mine. But apparently to make cold air, you have to make hot air. Would you believe? So what I do is I sort of open the door, defeating any sort of soundproofing I've done, and then all the hot air goes out here. So I do like recordings and stuff in here. And then once that's all done, because I'm, I'm working on a laptop, I come in here and I grab this thing that's just around the corner. It's like a, something I bought from Nidori, which isn't really that expensive. It was like, well, two quid or something. Just so I can put the laptop on and then I can plug everything in, sit on the sofa. It's actually a really nice change of pace because at home, this is me the whole time. So I record, then I edit, and then I'm done, and then I go home, or I go downstairs, whatever. Whereas here, I actually record, and then I'll come in the front room and sit, and I'll just like watch TV, talk with Whitney or whatever. This is my most recent purchase when I want to go hardcore in Mario Kart. <laughs> this, uh, this thing is amazing. There's like a resistance for when you steer and stuff. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Best purchase of my life. And there's a picture of Max so we don't forget our little raccoon dog. Look how tiny his head is. And then you've got uh, little figures from Jujutsu Kaisen. So yeah, more stuff that I didn't think I was ever going to buy. But here it is. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, entire space. It's a lot smaller. I mean, it's Japan, so and we live in Tokyo, so... It was going to be smaller than what we're used to at home. But that's part of the compromise when you live in a capital city. And one of the things that I was most looking forward to is, yes, I could do my work the same I could do at home, except for if I'm here, I can actually just go out and explore Japan rather than being stuck in the same place, you know, in the same area that I basically lived my whole life. At least this time, I can like, if I'm finished and I'm finished late, I can go out and get something really nice to eat rather than like, England's not really known for its great food. <laughs> so yeah, that's the apartment. I'm really enjoying my time here. We've, or at least I've tried to record like as many different kinds of like things that I can over here. Uh, I've got a lot of things coming up that's like dinosaur related, Japan related sort of stuff. Um, and I'm hopefully gonna do as much as I can in a, a lot of time that I've got here. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and until next time, look forward to all the regular content plus weird Japanese stuff. Bye! <laughs>